Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy and today we're going to take a look at the Palomino SS1251. This camper is compatible for a half ton, three quarter ton, or one ton truck with a six and a half foot bed. As we get started on the outside, you'll notice we have the high gloss gel coated exterior fiberglass and we have this in the cool gray exterior here. We have your entrance door that has the friction hinge as well with the privacy curtain and the integrated window here. Oversized grab handle to help you in and out. The brake lights and tail lights are integrated with the camper as well. We have a porch light back here with its own on off switch and it is also prepped for an observation camera. So you would be able to uh, add an observation camera at any point in time to see behind you when traveling down the road. The camper is equipped with the electric roof system on it and there's a remote to run those up and down. I'll show you that when we jump to the inside. As far as the jacks go, it comes with the manual crank already on it. There is also this adapter so you can your, use your cordless screw gun to run the jacks up and down. And if you ever wanted to upgrade to electric jacks, you can do that very easily. You simply switch out the head of it and there's also a port right here to plug in for the jack itself. As we move around to this side, there is a ladder prep, so you can buy a, a telescoping ladder, hook it in right here for roof maintenance purposes. Down below here, we are going to have some storage already built in. We have an access panel for your 12 volt fridge to get behind it there. Furnace vent, on-demand water heater, it's our tankless system, so it's only gas, but you're only using gas when you're running hot water, so about 60% excuse me, 60% more efficient than what we've used in the past. Fresh water fill, so if you're gonna be dry camping or boondocking, you can fill up your fresh water tank here, turn on the water pump inside and use the water from your holding tank. It also has a couple 110 outlets, outside shower with hot and cold water. This is a 30 amp unit and it will come with a 25 foot detachable power cord. Over here is gonna be your drain for the sink. The sink water will drain right to the outside. So you can hook up a piece of water hose here and catch the runoff in a tote. And then your city water connection. So if you're at a campground, you simply hook up your water hose and that'll pressurize the water lines for you. As we move around to the front side of the camper here, the camper is going to come with a double-sided seven-way male cord. It'll plug in right here, run all the way back and plug into the back of your truck. There's also a little holder here that you can hang the cord on if it's not in use. We have an extra solar charge port right here. So if you wanted to add extra solar, you can simply alligator clip it on. And that is a direct line to the battery. We also have a 12 volt cutoff switch for your battery up front here. You'll notice we have the four inch bumpers up front. Keep it away from the cab of your truck. We have the black canvas, black front end here, really sharp all the way around. We're gonna show you up top on the roof here. There is 400 watts of solar mounted on the roof and there is also a 100 amp hour lithium battery that comes with the camper the main reason behind that is that we have a 12 volt refrigerator that we are running inside and that will allow you to run that for uh, several hours and while you're traveling down the road as well in the back here last but not least we're going to have your 20 pound lp tank bottle and that will be filled by the outpost rv and down below here we will have your dump station with the gray and black tank there. And that will conclude our outside walkthrough of the Palomino SS1251. And now we'll take a look at the inside. Before we move to the inside, I wanted to show you a trick with the roof system. Here is the remote to run the roof up and down. You'll use the top left arrows here. And then if you ever upgrade to electric jacks, this will also be the remote for your jack. So as you can see, it is red and we say red for roof and green for ground. So if you ever upgrade to the electric jacks, you simply hold that button down till it turns green and then you will be able to run your jacks up and down. We have lowered the roof a little bit already. And what we did is we turned the vent fan on above the bed to create a vacuum system. So when you're closing the roof, you can do this and it'll help pull the canvas in for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut this front door here and take a look at the canvas getting pulled in here. As we move to the inside, this model has a wet bath with it, the toilet and shower off to the right. We have lots of storage drawers off to the left-hand side. You'll notice the 12 volt fridge there as well. Right down below here, I wanted to show you where the remote goes. It is attached to the wall. And then this is going to be the location to give power to the remote. There is a cord or a cable that comes with it to charge the remote, but you simply just push this button on to get that green light on 
and send power to the remote there. Again, this is going to be a 12 volt fridge that comes with the camper, which is why we have that extra solar and the lithium battery on board. Directly in front of that is going to be the furnace area there. And we'll go ahead and step inside and try to get a nice overview up front of the camper. And we'll just go ahead and get started right up here with the queen bed actually. So it is a residential size queen mattress that comes with the camper, 60 by 80. You have the foot locker storage on both sides. We have storage in front of the bed here. You'll notice the 110 outlet on the left hand side. We have your thermostat on the right hand side and a 12 volt charge port. Right underneath is going to be that window. It comes with the shade there. That is a sliding window that will open. Underneath the step is going to be your water, um, fresh water tank, water pump, and lots of stuff going on underneath that. And then down here towards the bottom left is also going to be your solar controller that has the red buttons on it. So that way that will limit the solar from overcharging your battery. We have your converter down below, CO2 detector, a 110 outlet, and then your water pump switch. We have the dinette area here. And they also have this new table system that is really cool. You can put it in many different positions with the pedestal that it comes with. So I will try to move this around for you guys to see. Um, but as you can see, the table can come out and turn many different directions. So wherever you're working or if you need more prep space in the kitchen, you can really put this thing out just about anywhere you'd like. That would work out best for you. And it'll also kind of go all the way back and get out of the way if you needed more floor space here. Right up top, they have an extra 110 outlet on the outside of the bathroom area. You'll notice we have these plastic pieces down here. So that will allow you to lay an extra piece down here. There was an extra cushion up on top of the mattress and you can actually turn this into another sleeping area down here. The pedestal will come off completely and underneath that carpeted step right down below is also going to be a little bit more storage area. Back here in the wet bath, you're gonna notice we have the curtain that will pull all the way around. We have your skylight up top. We also have the canvas area pulled back here. So you can see there's actually gonna be several layers to the canvas. There is the darkening material that will come down here. We also have the deep tinted vinyl. So you can simply open it up, let all the sunlight in all the way around, or you can also unzip the vinyl and have screens going all the way around, which would let in a lot of extra airflow for you. In the bathroom area, we have a lot of counter space up top here. Again, this is going to be the wet bath. So you can see we have the hot and cold water here. We're gonna have some dry storage for toiletries. And then the toilet right inside as well. It's gonna have this privacy door that closes off. And again, with the curtains that you can pull Here's a look at the entrance door. All that storage off to the right hand side, that 12 volt fridge. Go ahead and open that up and take a look at that as well. It is equipped with a freezer section up top. Lots of storage in there. Up above, we are going to have some extra counter space. This camper is equipped with the vinyl storage containers up top as you can see that one has a shelf built into it we're going to have another one hanging up over here these are nice you can unhook them take them inside the house load them up and bring them back out in the kitchen area we're going to have this nice size kitchen window we have the two burner stove that also has the cover with it so if you are not cooking at that time you can use that as extra prep space. We have the single bowl sink in here, and that also comes with this extra drying rack. 
or prep space here, which you can simply roll up and move out of the way if you do not need it at that time. Underneath, we have a storage compartment off to the right-hand side. And then right down here in the middle, we are going to have a thermostat and that will be for your water heater. So that will allow you to turn it on and off and adjust the temperature of the water itself. Right up above the queen mattress, we are going to have that large vent fan that we turned on that helps bring the canvas in. And then also this camper is prepped for an air conditioner. If you were to add that option, it would take place in this middle vent right here. And that will conclude our walkthrough of the Palomino SS1251. I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.